I am Nathan, you may know me as MM102, or you just don't know me. If you ever tried making graphics for Super Mario World, you've probably had to deal with YYCHR or Graphics Editor. While not terrible programs by any means, they're missing some of the luxuries of modern pixel art editors. Today, I present an alternative to these two programs in the form of an A-Sprite script, SNES Tools. SNES Tools lets you import and export graphics files entirely within A-Sprite, letting you work with all of A-Sprite's features. No more endless copying and pasting to Graphics Editor. To install the script, go to File, Scripts, Open Script Folder. From there, copy the SNES Tools folder to your script folder. To activate the script, again, go to File, Scripts, SNES Tools. If you don't see it, press Rescan Scripts folder. If you're going to be using this often, I recommend binding a hotkey in your keyboard preferences. Here are the features of the script, also included in the README file. The first thing is the bit depth toggle. This allows you to switch from 4 bits per pixel to 2 bits per pixel modes on your current graphics file. It's also used when importing or creating new graphics files. Import lets you import a graphics file into a sprite using the current bit depth. You also get the option to import as a new sprite or to overwrite the existing one. Export lets you export a GFX file you've been working on to a bin file. You also get to choose its file size, which by default will be set to auto. Auto will select the smallest file size from the list based on the document resolution and bit depth. Document size will export to the smallest size possible for your document. This allows you to make graphics files of arbitrary sizes such as 3 kilobytes, 1.5 kilobytes, etc. The other options export to the size they say. A description for what the different sizes are used for is in the parentheses. Quick Export exports the bin file to the location the A-Sprite document is saved, using the same name as the document. The file size will always be automatically selected when using Quick Export. This is best for exporting quick changes to a bin file for testing. Make sure to trust the script to minimize as many pop-ups as possible. Next we have the Palette Tools. Import Palette lets you import a PAL file from Lunar Magic into A-Sprite. Export Palette lets you export a PAL file from your A-Sprite palette. If your palette is bigger than 256 entries, it'll only export the first 256. If your palette is smaller than 256, the rest of the PAL file will be black. Shifting the palette up and down will change what palette row your file uses. You can also set the palette using a specific number. You can also select different areas and change their palette independently, meaning you can work in multiple palettes at the same time. Changing the palette does not affect the export because the palette is reduced during export. And finally, we have the option to create a blank GFX template. This will set up a new document automatically for making GFX files. The size of the document is based on the current bit depth and the GFX size you've chosen. And that's it. That's a brief overview of the tool. Hopefully you find some use out of it. I've had it half finished for like half a year now, so I finally got around to finishing it. But overall, it was a lot of fun to make. If you have any more features you'd like me to add, just let me know and I'll consider them. Also, if you're interested in making Super Marvel characters specifically, check out this video's sister video. I've released an update to my character creation kit that can export everything for you. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.